and welcome to my kitchen. I'm Judith. Today I'm going to do a Middle Eastern white bean stew. Um, it's known in Turkey as kuru fazioli. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Uh, in Lebanon it is Lebanese faziola. And again, I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong. But the names are similar. The dish, very similar. Maybe the spice is a bit different. Um, it's made with white beans and generally dried white beans, although you could use canned. I have soaked these overnight. Lamb, and you could use beef, but I do like to eat lamb. And this one has a wonderful touch with a grated fresh tomato in it. So you want a nice ripe tomato. And one thing that confused me when I first made this dish was it says pepper paste. Um, so I was assuming they were talking about a hot pepper paste, like a spicy. Apparently it's not supposed to be terribly spicy, although you could add red pepper flakes if you want. So the pepper paste they're talking about is made with red bell peppers. I could not find it, so I have some chopped, uh, it says pimento, which is basically red bell pepper. And of course, onion and some spices. I have a bay leaf and some black pepper. Um, you can add coriander, um, some people add cinnamon. But let's get started with chopping the onions and browning our lamb. All right, we have a pot on blow. And I have a tablespoon of olive oil heating up. And we're just going to pop in our lamb pieces. We may have to do this in two batches because we don't want to crowd the pan, so we're definitely going to need two batches here. We need to sear it, sear the lamb on all sides. Uh, my stove is slightly out of tilt, um, like most stoves really. The oil tends to run to the back side of the pot. And we will just have to turn the pot or tip it to keep the oil evenly spread. A little tip, when you're browning meat, you notice, even with oil in the pot, it sticks to the pot. Don't force it. It'll just shred the meat. You wait, it will release itself from the pot when the sear has happened. Okay, now once the side has seared, you can see it just pops right off. Flip it over. And then we'll remove these and continue with the rest. Right. Now that we've got our lamb all brown, and I know I said brown it on all sides, but you don't have to be terribly fastidious about that. We pour it in the first half. And we're going to sprinkle in our black pepper and whatever other spices you wanted to be using. We're going to put in our chopped yellow onion. You could use white onion. You could even use red if you wanted. And that was two small yellow onions. Well, small for this area of the world. So about a three quarters of a cup of onion. And we saute those for a minute. Now I am, do have 655 grams of lamb stew that I'm using today. Okay, 
one stop. Let's have a minute for the onions to soften. We're going to add our pepper. Um, which, as I said, I am using diced pimento. So I'm going to strain them off. Because I don't want all that liquid. I'm actually going to pick the better strainer. But this will do. There we go. And our adding our grated tomatoes, and <laughs> I should have used a bowl for these. There we go. I did do two tomatoes, because they were fairly small, but they're beautiful, ripened on the vine tomatoes. So, that. And we are going to add the posada. And probably about... Hmm... 400 mils and our bay leaf. A stir. And, and we want to add our soaked beans. And that is approximately 135 grams of beans. You could add more. Um, I was being conservative with the number of beans I put in. All nice stir together and we still need some more liquid. So some hot water. And about half a liter of hot water. We're going to turn the heat up and get this up to a boil. So I'm putting the lid on to get it up and then we're going to reduce the heat to a simmer. Alright, now that we've got it up to a boil, we're going to turn this down because we just want it at a good simmer because we do need to soften those beans. And this will cook for about three hours. If you're using canned beans, obviously it's not going to take as long. It'll probably take half an hour. But you, if you want to cook the meat longer, do so. It adds more flavor and softens it quite a bit and add the beans at the end and just give it enough time to warm the beans through and you're good to go. So I'm just going to wait for this to come down to a simmer, put the lid back on and give it three hours. During that time, don't forget to come and give it a stir now and then to make sure you don't need to add more water or that the beans aren't softening faster than you thought they would. Rarely happens for me but you just don't want it going dry and things getting burnt. So do check it regularly to make sure you don't need to add more liquid. It's been two hours since we set this to simmer. Give it another, oops, another stir. Time to check our beans. Looking good. They do still need some time. They are getting there. Tasting good. So I think we're going to turn the heat up a little, get that simmer happening a little harder. So we do need to boil some of this off. It's not. We want to thicken it a little. And by the way, resist the urge to put salt in. As you may have noticed, there is no salt in this so far. Um, there probably won't be any salt in it even at the end but if you put salt in with dried beans and you're trying to soften them you're defeating the purpose they will just toughen up so I'm going to
put the lid on at a angle so that so that the steam can escape and the liquid can boil off a little bit. We haven't had to add any water at this point. And our sauce is still very thin, so we do want it to thicken a bit. All right, it has been almost three hours. Let's take the lid off. This should probably be our last check. Give it a stir. Ooh, that looks lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, one last little check. Mmm, the beans are perfect. They disintegrate in your mouth. You don't even hardly have to chew them. So no, no need to add salt to this. So this is my Turkish lamb and bean stew. And please don't ask me to try to say it again. Because you know I'll mispronounce it. Mmm. Honestly, there aren't a lot of seasonings in it, and it really doesn't need them because the tomato and the um, red pepper, and the beans and the lamb just make it absolutely gorgeous. Mmm. That is so good. I'm just serving it with a wonderful like salad, tomatoes, cucumbers, red onions. Mm. With a little pomegranate balsamic vinegar poured over it. And a wonderful flatbread. A nice piece of lamb and some of the beans. Wrap them in the bread. That is so good. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't liked the video yet and you've got this far through it, you really should give it a like. I'd appreciate it if you'd like it and subscribe. Every like, subscribe, share, comment I get helps. And I do appreciate everyone that likes shares, subscribes, or comments. I do want your comments. I want to know what you think about what I'm doing. If you think there are improvements I can make. If you think I'm doing good, bad, let me know. If you've got a recipe you want me to make, let me know. And I do like new tastes. So let me know where you're from, what you like, what you would like to see and what you would like to learn to make. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon with a new video.